Hi everybody and welcome to my music room. I'm Harry and today I have a special guest with me. I have Rosalita or Rosie named after the Bruce Springsteen song Rosalita come out tonight. Anyway, she's going to watch me do this video today. Um, today I picked the subject of bootlegs, as you can tell from my shirt. And I'm going to show you my John Lennon bootlegs. So, let's get started. We're going to start with one called Yin Yang, which came out in the mid-80s. And it's uh, various tracks. And you've got Serve Yourself. Mucho Mungo, Stand By Me, Radio Love, Walking on Thin Ice, Give Peace a Chance. And the label on this one. I like the childhood picture of John on his bicycle. Big Beatles fan. Saw him live on Ed Sullivan that first night and then literally changed my life. Next we have uh, an album called Off the Walls and this was recorded at the record plant in 1974. Vinyl is a see-through, translucent type purple. I usually pick up my bootlegs at uh, local record shows whenever I see one. If I get them at a good price, I don't I don't pay a lot of money for them. Usually, if I can get them for oh twenty dollars or under, I'll pick them up. Uh, this one is called Something Precious and Rare. Outtakes from the Walls and Bridges session in 74. Trademark quality, so it's it's not, I don't think it's even, there. it's a bootleg of a bootleg. And then we have uh, Working Class Hero. This was uh, released in the mid-80s. It's a double album. It's basically just a white sleeve with uh, cover pasted to the front and a cover pasted on the rear. And for our labels, so solo music, two album set with Jimi Hendrix, Chuck Berry, Elton John, Eric Clapton, Keith Richards. So it's all various uh, different, uh, some of them are TV show uh, performances and some of them are just studio outtakes. Uh, we've got uh, some stuff from radio, uh, London Radio 1 Top Gear, something uh, we got lady marmalade which john recorded in his apartment it's just a, about a minute and a half of that and then next we have uh one called you should have been there this rock and roll uh sessions outtakes two lp set try to get some picture here without a glare on it One of the records is on red vinyl, and one is on black. On the original rock and roll album, there's actually three other Beatles on the picture, the, those blurry subjects you see. I think it's uh, George, Paul, and Stu Sutcliffe, I believe. And then we have... Uh, a 12 inch uh, single it's only got two songs on it called the last reunion this was released in 1985 and it has two versions of uh, uh, I'm the greatest the house you see here on the back is Mendips this is where John lived with his aunt Mimi 
the house is now a museum, thanks to uh, Yoko and the National Trust for, for doing that. So fans can go and visit and see where John grew up. I would love to go to Liverpool someday. I've never been to England, but uh, it's on my bucket list. And then we have uh, outtakes of uh, Double Fantasy. This one is just called Another Fantasy. This was released, I believe, in 1997. And it's all outtakes from the Double Fantasy session. We've got uh, Starting Over, Clean Up Time, Beautiful Boy, Vocal, uh, Watching the Wheels, uh, Woman, Woman Just the Vocal, Mystery Train, I'm Losing You. And this is on Winston O. Boogie label. Nice gatefold sleeve, which you don't see gatefolds real often on uh, bootlegs, but uh, there you go. And then we go to, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, the Lost Lennon tapes. This is number seven. Like I said, I just pick them up when I see them, so you don't see them very often. But... Uh, Number seven has mostly uh, mind games, cold turkey, tight as, uh, and then we go into some double fantasy outtakes as well. And this is on Bag Records. Lost Lennon Tapes, Volume 7. And then my favorite cover, and you'll know why when you see it, but Lost Lennon Tapes, number nine, number nine, number nine. And this is uh, mostly white album outtakes. Number nine, number nine. And these, the Lost Lennon Tapes, albums the bootlegs were basically taken from the um westwood one radio network lost lead and tape series uh that that ran for oh see i think 1988 through 1992 um these are original lost lead and tape records that were sent to the radio stations so technically it's not a bootleg but uh, this would be episode 31 from 1991. And they came with cue sheets to tell the DJs what's on the record and what will be coming up. This particular one was uh, dedicated to uh, just John and Yoko. Each, each week would have a different uh, subject. The next one was uh, 1991 episode 29 and this one was uh, dedicated or, or the title of this show was Ringo's birthday and they have a bunch of unreleased music um, and then they'll have commercials and things like that and you know like Trident sweepstakes uh, Volkswagen commercial US Army Faberge J so these are always fun to pick up, but uh, they tend to be pricey. So, like I said, I only buy them when I find them at a price I'm willing to pay for it. And then we have another one. This is uh, 1989, uh, episode 37. And this one is just called Lenin Spiritual Development Revisited, part one. And they're on the Westwood One label. So I always enjoy listening to these. And then my last John Lennon bootleg is called Telecast. And Telecast was various uh, TV shows. Um, Mike Douglas, uh, David Frost, Dick Cavett. Um, I remember coming home from school and, and 
I could time it just right where I could get home when the Mike Douglas show started. And when uh, John and Yoko were the host, the guest ho uh, co-hosts for the entire week. And John brought on his favorite performers. And it was just great to see John in awe of Chuck Berry. And uh, I was lucky enough to see Chuck Berry twice. I never got to see John. I've seen Ringo numerous times. I've seen Paul numerous times, but uh, never saw the Beatles. But, you know, I grew up in a small town and there were no concerts anywhere around where I was at. So I just bought the albums and played them to death. And I will continue to do this bootleg series. Uh, I'll do one for each of the other Beatles. And uh, I have quite a few bootlegs of Springsteen. I'll, I'll do a segment just on him. And then I'll do another segment that's on uh, oh, my various bootlegs from other artists. So I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, please like it or uh, don't like it if you don't. You know, I don't. I don't care either way, I guess. I do these for me primarily. But uh, I enjoy doing them and I enjoy sharing the music. So uh, subscribe if you can and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks.